now the uh, the relative velocity the relative velocity of b with respect to a this is denoted as v b a this is the uh, this is how you denote a relative velocity of a point b with respect to point a okay now this velocity may also be represented when both points b and a are on the same body they might be on different bodies also point b and point a okay they might also lie on the same body this is to be considered okay now if you reverse it and you write it down like this v a b like this this is the relative velocity of point a with respect to point b okay so this is what you get and in most cases v v a would be equal to minus v a b okay so this is what you get and this is the concept of a relative velocity or uh, when both the body uh, when when both the points are in motion okay now let's move on to another slide and draw a diagram let me take a point o and draw a vector like this sorry uh, let me draw it like this this is point o and this is point a and let me draw another vector like this this is vector this is a b okay now if i were to represent these velocity vectors in one diagram i would take point o here this is my point o okay and this would be my velocity vector v a o this is velocity of a with respect to point o then this would be b so this is v b a okay v a o and v b a these are two velocities the resultant of these two velocities would be a vector like this from o to b but with direction like this this is the direction of the vector ob and this would be v b o and if i were to write it down in as an equation this would be v b o this is equal to v a o plus v b a now this law is also known as triangle law of vector addition we all know this that if you have two velocities velocity 1 velocity 2 and they are going in the same sense or in the same direction or in the same uh, you know uh, motion then the velocities of these two would be the opposite which counteracts these two velocities which balances the, the net effect of these velocities this would be the resultant in this direction that is vbo now these were two velocities and the third velocity becomes your resultant which becomes triangle law if there are more than two vectors then what would you do suppose you have a vector like this this is point o and this is a and then you go on to a vector like this this is b and then you go like this c then you come back this is d okay so this is vector v a o this would be vector b a and this is vector c b and this is vector d c okay so the resultant in this case would be a vector like this this would be in the opposite direction this would be the resultant of these vector velocities and this would be vector v d o if you want to write it down in the form of a equation v d o equal to v a o 
plus V B A plus V C B plus V D C okay so these are your velocities and this is the resultant of these velocities okay this is called your polygon law of vector addition now why polygon because in the previous law of vector addition uh, you were getting a triangle but in this you are getting a figure like this with multiple sides so it creates a polygon okay so this is your polygon law of vector addition